Okay, hello there. So this video is about wars and online harassment, and this is part one. I think uh, offense can both be given and taken. Uh, Crash Course Philosophy has recently made an episode about uh, on can wars harm, and I don't agree with all of it, but that's what prompted me making this video. But one message I get from it is, society as a whole give wars meaning. So your intent alone can't really determine how people perceive what you say when you use words such as faggot or nigger. And if you are one of the people that think offense can, is only taken but never given, consider that if that's the case, how could you possibly insult a person? Why would you expect them to be insulted? if you believe you can possibly offend people? <laughs> or do you never try to insult someone? Which I don't think is likely for anyone. I don't know. Uh, you can give me answer to your comment down below, or if you have anything disagree with me, you want to discuss with me, that's totally okay. Just write your comment down below. And with that said, the problem as mentioned by the Crash Course video is when you do not intend to harm, but people are harmed anyway, in consequence. What seems often meant by people saying offense is not given, albeit inaccurate, is that the offended person have the agency in interpreting other people's meanings. You don't have to interpret it in an offensive way. There are other ways interpreting that message. So if a person becomes attached to the idea that people would offend them, confirmation bias might just give them that kick to take offense on words that's not intended to harm more often. And it is therefore improper credit assignment if you only consider the outcome of people being harmed. Of course, there are cases outcome dominant over intent as well, when the subject of your action have little to no agency. For example, if you intend to be a cat's friend and get scratched in doing so, it's totally your fault because the cat do not have intelligence. You can't blame the cat for not acting irrational with you. And, but, but humans are no cats. They are in charge of how to interpret an expression and how to act upon their feelings. On the other hand, if you're not clear what your intention is, you are at least partially at fault people getting harmed. You can act like you are insulting someone and then claim you have no such intent. If people get offended over what you say, you too have the agency to explain it better so they don't misunderstand. Try not to give offense in accident, basically. Now, at the end, I want to say I'm really afraid people on both sides know all of that. And, but they just want to blame it on the other side anyway, so they cannot be held accountable for their fault, because it's much easier to do that. So what I would do is, if people get insulted over what I say, I can try to say better. I, rather than cling on to the idea offense is not given, I didn't do that, you did that to yourself, and never admit it even if it's my fault. Because I'm not perfect, I can be at fault. And if I think people are insulting me, I try to see if there's a way that's not meant as an insult. And I suggest you give it a try, <laughs> because this really saves my time after I realized I want to actually change people rather than just lashing out my anger at them. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. And this is the first part. The second part, we will look at some past events, including Steve Scheiss, Bearing, Milo and stuff. Stay tuned to that and maybe subscribe if you want to. Bye.